Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now, just before we started the reading, I was attract I was drawn to this red jasper crystal and uh, what came to me are cloudy skies. There are a lot of uh, restless clouds gathering in the sky. Now this can be literal. Like for example, at this time or maybe within today, you will see clouds gathering in the sky as if crowding the sky. Now, uh, so uh, make sure to bring an umbrella just in case. It can be also in your life situation. Uh, there might be a certain part in your life right now where clouds are starting to gather. So this can be in an actual cloud forming. Or maybe uh, it can be also uh, a symbolic one wherein you start to feel that uh, your life situation seems to be uh, there are a lot of clouds gathering in your life situation and a little bit uh, sort of uh, like the, thor the, the term thunderstorm comes to me so usually thunderstorms are violent but they only last a short time Unlike the other kind of rain wherein they are just drizzling but they endure a longer time. Now, if you have a violent storm, just be aware that it's only for a moment. It, it will pass sooner or later. Especially if it's a, uh, a very energetic kind of challenge or a very, very energetic kind of storm, usually after a certain period of time, they slowly die down because uh, yeah there's a sudden explosion and everything what comes to my mind right now is be careful that you will not lose your peace you will not explode with anger okay if you feel that the tension is building up within you and there's a danger for you to get angry or explode then maybe it's time for you to take a pause and go to a quiet place where there is less likely the chance of you getting angry less likely for you to hurt other people by sudden explosion of emotions okay so uh, sometimes when we say things we cannot regain them anymore once you've said something and it, it has hurt other people's feelings you cannot do anything anymore to redeem it it's already been said so to avoid such a situation, it's good for you to uh, take a pause. If you feel you're already tired or your patience is running thin, there's a danger for you to already get angry, maybe it's time for you to take a short pause, take a break, and uh, allow yourself to recover. Taking a walk or maybe resting, taking a sleep, or just being amidst nature might help so just be aware of that now let's do the tarot reading now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs so just take what resonates with you it is also timeless so anytime you find yourself watching this video there might be a message here for you now let's see what is the main energy at the beginning of the day okay now we have here the Seven of Swords. This can symbolize uh, right now two energies that comes to me. It can be somebody, a person who's very sneaky and is doing mischievous things behind you. Uh, it can be also somebody who is a good negotiator and is going to try to win you to their side. Okay, so that's the second possibility. The first one is somebody who is... Uh, doing things behind your back the second one is somebody who is a very good negotiator and this person can easily win you okay so uh, sometimes it's good to be aware before you encounter them or especially that one who is very sneaky because you might not encounter them but they are already doing things behind your back so be careful the other one is a teacher aware like for example this can be a suitor <laughs> for some of you it can be a suitor who has a very uh, who is able to say sweet nothings 
and can easily win a person into their side. So uh, be careful also of that. Okay, because uh, some people are very good in convincing people, so it can be like that. Now, it can be also your energy. This is the third possibility that you are able, you have that skill of winning people to your sight uh, without any conflict. You are able to remove the swords and you are able to bury the swords so that there will be no conflict. In a certain sense, there is something good about that, whether it be with regards to other people or with regards to you. The important thing only is that you use that talent or that gift with integrity, not to use it to take advantage of other people. So be careful also. If, if there is somebody who's trying to negotiate with you and you see that the person is dealing with you with integrity, no problem. But if your intuition is telling you that this person has a, a hidden agenda, which is a little bit shady, then you need to be careful. You need to enter the negotiation with uh, caution. So it's like that. So just be careful. Now, it can be you also, wherein you uh, have that ability. If you're going on a no negotiation, this can be an advice coming from the card. Maybe you can think of a win-win situation in order to avoid arguments and to be able to win them to your side where both parties you and the people you are dealing with will benefit somehow from the agreement so yeah it can be also an advice from the universe wherein uh, instead of going there with battle axes or swords might as well just try to think of a win-win situation and uh, offer it offer a leaf of peace or a leaf of reconciliation so it can be also because this card can also symbolize avoiding conflicts and trying to settle situations without any battle so that's all so just try to see how this resonates with you in this present moment now how will this further unfold well you will have a new inspiration uh, the page of pentacles and this inspiration will give good luck good fortune and uh, stability to you and to whom you are going to deal with so if you can come up with a win-win situation then this can be a beautiful result wherein both of you will see something valuable something that both of you will feel uh, benef will benefit from so it's like uh, you, here when you look at the page of pentacles it's as if he's looking at, at the pentacles as if he realized the value in what he was holding so in a certain sense also uh, if you are able to get think of a win-win situation then maybe the other party will also see the value of what you are proposing now if this is a, another person who's very good with the proposal you need to listen also because maybe this person is bringing you something with value if you are open you are not in a uh, battle uh, you are not uh, in, in a battle mode then if you are willing to listen be receptive who knows maybe you will see the value in what this person is proposing to you because this person is reaching out to you maybe the proposal is also a win-win situation so you need to be receptive also not oftentimes when we go to discussion we just want the other party to listen to what we want to say and we somehow bold, bulldoze, bulldoze the, or you, you run over uh, the other party by the words that you are using or the sentences that you are using so it will be a one-way dialogue it, well, it will no longer be a dialogue because it will be a one-way conversation so what happens is uh, no, but it's not a win-win situation but if you are able to listen to them, then who knows? Maybe both of you will see the value of the conversation that you will have. So I feel if you are able to find a win-win situation for all of you or the other person, you are able to appreciate the win-win proposal that they might be giving, then both of you might find something valuable in the end. Now, what is the advice of the universe for us? Well, the Wheel of Fortune 
will continue to turn. If this is a person who's taking advantage of you, it's okay. Don't worry. In the end, you will benefit also. The Page of Pentacles shows something new and that something new will lead to stability. So even if, for example, somebody fishy is doing behind something behind the scenes, still, don't worry. The universe will make sure that things will get better. And if that is the situation where somebody is doing uh, things behind you, uh, this too, this situation will will pass. The wheel of fortune will continue on turning. If you feel you're an underdog, just like this creature in the end, you'll be like the Sphinx. The Sphinx is, uh, yeah, a symbol of wisdom also. So it, it, the experience will give you wisdom. And then at, at the same time, she, he's holding a sword. So in a certain sense, justice will be given to you. And there are a lot of books at the four corners of the card, which shows that there are life lessons that you can learn from the experience. So just be open. And the experience, things will go well. Uh, the wheel of fortune will continue to turn. So don't worry. Whatever the challenges you might be having right now, as long as you uh, always try to come up with a win-win situation, it's like that also when we manifest things. When you manifest something and you always consider the benefit of the whole collective, the universe opens the door for you because they know that what you are proposing will benefit everyone. So in a certain sense, it's like that also. If you do that, then the wheel of fortune will turn very, very smoothly and things will get well for all people concerned. So this is what we have for Good Morning Tarot. Let us now go to the self-care tip. For our self-care tip, the message comes from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And the message is, For every minute you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. When we try to relate that to the red jasper, wherein we saw a lot of clouds, to be able to maintain your peace and your happiness. If you feel that you are already overburdened by the situation where clouds are beginning to form, then it's time for you to take a pause and try to cool down a bit so that you will not lose your peace. Because the moment you get angry, the moment you explode, the moment you end up being in an argument with other people, you lose happiness. And it's not only 60 seconds but usually it depends on how long you are able to reconcile with other people even if it doesn't affect you if the other person doesn't forgive you or whatever still you lose a certain degree of peace so the best way is to avoid conflict if we try to relate it to the tarot reading with the seven of swords the person in the seven of swords also tries to avoid conflict he tries to avoid getting angry. Uh, he tries to avoid uh, getting into battle by removing all the swords. So in a certain sense, we try to avoid getting angry. We try to avoid falling into an argument. If we can do that, and if we can, if we have the patience to listen to the point of view of other people, and have the humility to know, to accept, that we don't know everything, that we can always learn from other people. When we have that kind of energy, when we deal with other people, then there is less likely the chance for us to lose our peace, less likely chance for us to get angry, less likely chance for us to lose our happiness. So somehow, yeah, the self-care tip, the a crystal ball and our tarot reading seems to be uh, in agreement with each other. Uh, avoid conflict if we can come for it, come up with a win-win situation and if we can deal without getting angry, we can deal with people without getting angry. When we protect ourselves from the impending storm, whether it be the physical one, no? because also when you get caught in the rain, well, uh, you have two, cha two things to consider. You can dance in the rain or you can feel miserable under the rain. So sometimes it's good to bring an umbrella. The umbrella is the good disposition that you have. 
when you have that umbrella, even if it rains, you can dance in the rain. Uh, also, when you have that positive disposition, even when other people are angry, or even when it's physically raining, you can always see the silver lining in the dark clouds. So, uh, so the in inspiration for us is whatever tension you might have, just like the Wheel of Fortune, these two will pass and uh, things will get better soon. So as far as possible, let's, let's avoid getting angry. Uh, it's not good for our health also. <laughs> At the same time also, it's very hard to reconcile once you've said uh, certain hurting things to other people. So yeah, if you need to take a break, take a break and uh, avoid the unnecessary discomfort that conflicts, arguments, or anger could bring to us. So that's it for today. I hope that somehow this reading has given you what you need in your present life journey. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.